Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number 16, I'm Imperial Jedi, and you are you. It completes the circle, isn't it? What's going on? Welcome. Glad you're here. All right, so a lot on the docket today. Um, I do want to actually fill in a whole bunch more over here. And then I actually want to start doing a little bit of that uh, reconstruction. That uh, recommissioning? Decommissioning? I want to start moving the industrial zone over, kind of here. And then maybe if we're lucky, we can actually start connecting up the docks down here. And this is all just basically the segue going into our uh, transit theme episodes. So lots to do with that. So let's just start building, see how far we get here. Yeah, city's coming along really well, though. I think so. So I think it's, yeah, it's time for some cinematics, time for some transit. And the transit, man, there's just so much to talk about. Holy moly, where do we even begin with that? Yeah, in a nutshell, though, um, we're just going to be starting with some buses. Maybe do uh, kind of an all-encompassing, actually, bus episode. Uh, we can do, like, the school buses. We can do the trolley buses. We can do regional buses, local buses, express buses. I think, are there that many options? There are that many options. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I'm really excited. And um, I'm really, really excited for the cargo aspect, too. I'm actually going to be breaking our transit episodes into a few different part uh, ports. Parts? Parts, that's a word. Yeah, so what's going to happen is, um, you know, three, four episodes just dedicated towards the passenger side of traffic. And then I want to have, um, you know, just a few episodes dedicated towards the uh, cargo side of it. What does it feel like and that'll be things like, now? you know, internal... Um, oh, actually, like you know what? We run out of power. Someone pointed out in the comments section, too. We made this beautiful uh, chain of um, power producers over here, but we didn't connect them. So sometimes this happens, right? Like, you go to your power menu, it says you've got enough power when you actually don't, because the zones aren't connected. So, easy remedy. Sort of. And actually, let's use this opportunity to take down the first of our polluting industry. They're not industry, sorry, power plants. We get rid of a coal one over there. And let's put down over in our um, industrial neck of the woods. Put down that geothermal. That'll look pretty cool over here. And let's try and keep like pollution to a minimum in this spot, just for the sake of the fish farms. And then these things do not produce, which is great. The byproduct is steam, so that's very friendly. Um, let's do it for this part. That's a nice like, industrial look and feel to it as well. And so let's just run that up there. That's connected. Cool. And then just double check that these two are going to be connected. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's run it on three speed for a second. Make sure everyone's good. Yep. And we probably should just run it on three speed because I'm very... Oh boy, we are so broke again. I, I, see, I can't even... like. Yeah, I cannot believe how much we spent last episode. Money definitely well spent. But oh my goodness, this area here was so expensive. Yeah, oh boy. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's start recouping some of that. So something else I want to talk about this episode is a way to create demands when there isn't any. So it is my goal right now, I'm going to pause because the power lines really quickly. It is my goal to get our residential population up. If we get to 17,000 before the transit episodes start, we can actually use uh, more types of the transit hubs. But right now, it's actually a great, um, great segue into this. Right now, there's no demand for... Um, uh, for residential. A little bit of commercial, but that's basically all gone, right? And we have this whole area here that we're looking to fill. So what can we do? Well, we can create our own. And it's a, you know, time-tested and true strategy, and you'll see why. But just, that's a very common question I get, is like, how do I start my RCDI demand once it's kind of fallen off? And, oh, three speed, right, for I turn it back on. Um, this, by the way, is going to be kind of like the boundary line between our offices, our industry, people so it's gonna be probably more boxy than it needs to be but maybe just to mix things up we can like throw in like one or two curved streets and here I'm talking about like the importance of saving money and whatnot but I actually think I want to add um, uh, industrial roads through here so I'm gonna actually just upgrade some of these keep a one-way web as well But if we do end up with some yellow industry over here, it's going to unfortunately make the trees in the road uh, die off. Okay, 
And you know, actually, now that we're on it, why don't we change this spot here into a roundabout? We were talking about that earlier. And we'll make it large enough that the trucks can like very comfortably navigate it. And if we do end up with some bus traffic too, everything should be uh, a okay. Okay, so just like a little bit through here. And then, like, we're going to rant about that, but we'll, we'll figure that out in one second. That's kind of fun. And maybe, like, asymmetrical rows leading into it. Yeah, I can totally deal with that. I love it. Okay, uh, over here. Again, we're going to have to probably change that, but let's just try and get a, uh, a roundabout built. So probably the easiest way for us to do this... Let's switch over to the jazz. I'm listening to that too often. Yeah, let's draw a box um, around this. And let's we'll delete the inner part. And then probably just do a smidgen of terraforming. Oh, I can't these poor power lines, eh? Do I have enough money to complete this? I do, but these poor power lines just keep getting in the way. Oh boy. Yeah, hillside, I mean, it's not too bad here. I wouldn't mind maybe lowering this part slightly. To, I think, eyeball that half of the roundabout, but let's keep that. Or, hmm. That looks even enough that actually I think that side's okay, and then we'll end up having to, like, get deja vu feelings here and do all this over again, right? Yeah, gently curve that into, into itself. Push that back slightly. Let's see how that looks. And just dare to be different. Let's use the um, the one-way roads that are found from oopsies the uh, industrial set. Even though we're eyeballing this, you can kind of see the shape it takes. So we're just going to the corner post there, and that was okay. a little bit weird though, eh? There we go. Yeah, as suspected, not so bad for the downhill part. A little steep. A little steep right here. But not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, that's counterproductive. Okay, so we're not going to be doing that. Instead, we'll do this, and we're going to say no to the traffic light, please. Oopsies. And we'll put st uh, just a stop sign there, and then maybe a traffic light here. That's fine by me. A little bit close together, but I'm hoping people won't really use this as a way through. Ryan Butt should get most of the action. Okay, power line's back in here for the 17th time. And three speed. Okay, so going back to what I was saying before, right? Creating demands when we don't really have any, right? We, it's like non-existent right now. And if I wanted to put a little bit of residential zoning through here, that would literally just use up the last bit. So how do you create demand? What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with residential and we're gonna essentially make an area that is just so attractive to live in. It's like, how would you not wanna live here? And so that'll essentially kickstart the cycle. You've got people moving in. They're gonna be falling in love with this place. And then they're going to be like, hey, I want somewhere to shop, I want somewhere to uh, to work. So that'll kind of, yeah, kickstart the whole cycle again here. So let's use up the demand we have so we can kind of show how this all works. Beautiful. And just a little bit of mixed zoning through here, uh, favoring residential. A little bit wall-to-wall -wall just for the speedy sake of it all, but I think we'll come back eventually and uh, detail this, you know? And then, so yeah, once uh, once the demand runs out, let's do a little bit more zoning here. Just start putting down like services, so like parks, schools, fire stations, police. Just start increasing the land value of the area. Literally, make it so attractive that you want to live here, no matter what. So our demand is pretty much all all off the clock now. That's good. It's completely falling off here. So let's uh, yeah, kick off. Let's get a park. 
a fit there? No, it's not, unfortunately. I'm sure one of them will, though. Oh, yeah. There's a little dog park. You know, I think our hospital is doing pretty well. But let's maybe throw in a small clinic over in that neck of the woods. That'll still help over here. Fire coverage, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Maybe make the argument for one more over here to help this little quadrant plus that road. Or one of these could be upgraded to a larger facility. Just a few more parks. Playground over here. You can even see, like, I haven't really done that much, and all of these zoning squares are now starting to fill in. You're just kind of, like, going as you go. That makes any weird sense. So let's put down some more schools and stuff. But yeah, we're just basically increasing the land value, making this area so attractive that, yeah, absolutely you'd want to move in. It'd be crazy not to. And that just, yeah, jumps the whole process. People want jobs, they want somewhere to shop. And then rinse and repeat. Do this as many times as you need to. It's kind of like a never-ending cycle. Look at that. Residential is really starting to climb now. And then we'll see the, the spillover. We'll start favoring an industry. All right, a little bit repetitive. I really like using the basketball course along with our high schools like that. Actually, a big improvement. And added bonus, now we got some more uh, transit customers when we do our uh, transit episode next uh, next one. All right, so it's a little bit more over here. And let's uh, switch over to our industrial zone. And we'll just start like dezoning parts of it, shaping some of the new roads, maybe connecting the highway underneath too. Yeah, it's grand. So the main takeaway is just increase land value and then the rest will do itself. And then to help um, you know, spread the cost around, let's just keep on expanding, right? So we push down here, maximize the new um, services that went in. Call for garbage. Yeah, kind of at that point here. Just a little temporary stopgap measures right now, but we do want to shift over to have the uh, in-town facility, the waste transfer facility going, with eventually this on the outskirts. Just not quite there yet. So 17,000, important milestone, new, uh, new buildings. We'll get there eventually. Okay, we'll start zoning this, now that their demand's starting to move up too. A bit of a fun mix between high and low. And always fun when you get little curves. Get some good variety to the buildings. And then I was mentioning this before, we're going to be using offices as our uh, sound barrier. So offices are going to occupy basically this side of the street the whole way down. And these theoretically should be enough to stop the sound from our manufacturing departments um, or area. Um, yeah, and, and spilling over to our, uh, our people. So manufacturing through here. And then let's start unzoning this. We want this to be a business park. So moving these jobs elsewhere. We don't want to get rid of all of them. Dinosaurs. Yellow industry is important. And what ends up happening, right, is you get rid of all of your yellow industry, your commercial zones will import what they need to sell uh, via trucks. They might also do it via, like, cargo, like, you know, trains and planes, right? But you end up just, like, jamming your streets up. So we're going to want to still have some of this stuff be uh, produced locally. And then also, as a bonus, you can take advantage of the tax benefit. So if you're making it at home, you can tax it, and you get jobs. Less traffic, too, so... And then kind of like a spoiler for when the cargo episodes come, that'll be kind of like a fun, like, how do you get cargo moving around without really using the trucks? So we'll have some cargo routes. That'll be really, really cool via train. Okay, um, is that zone still connected to the cities? Yes, it is. Cool. Just double checking so power is not all over the place. And then those unzone there, we'll start rezoning over here. And to start getting some more truck traffic down here, what we can do is go over to our um, industry. I'm going to put down one of our warehouses. Not the biggest one, but let's use this one here. And the warehouses are really cool. They'll create some uh, truck traffic. And these can work uh, paired either with a yellow industrial zone or with your unique factories or custom um, industrial zones. 
So we want it to be balanced between all the rest, even though this is the only one down. And we're actually going to scroll all the way down. So these are unique products, right? We want to scroll all the way down and want to do the stuff that's going to be sold in the commercial zones. So Yellow Industry produces that. Now when it's produced, trucks bring it down here. So let's do some cool truck traffic. Uh, it might be working against this because this is now like far away from everything, but just to kind of show you a little bit how that mechanic works. Another fun thing you can do to get some truck traffic down here is we can go over to our post offices and we can start putting some of this stuff down. So if we want, we can have the sorting facility be down here. Let's just move that police station. Shift that on over, get the pipes in here. And then now we can put down some uh, local post offices. Which will make our people happy. Corner post office in the park here. Look at those happy faces. Do you need post offices? No, not at all. Just for some fun. So they do create some traffic, so we'll get ready for that, but I think the good outweighs the bad. And then, like, you know, what city doesn't have a post office, right? Oh my goodness, of course. And let's do post office near the um, uh, university campus as well. You know, if you're an international student, you want to buy some stamps. Some time cards for your uh, your cellular phone. So we put this, it'll be really a nice addition. Let's do the corner over here. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's great. And so uh, the postal vans look really nice, a little Ford kind of Mercedes Sprinter van style. Very nice addition to the city streets for some variety. And then down here you get the uh, processing trucks, which are pretty cool. So yeah, big boy version of them. But just for more traffic, you know, whatever, whatever you want. And then as a bonus, this is a beautifully detailed uh, building here. Kind of freight yard style too, with all the trucks uh, hanging out. So more life. More life indeed. Life of the party. Oh, hello, plane. Okay, it's three speed. We're roaring with money. Look at our demand. Guys, just from doing that little bit there, we kickstarted the whole works. It's great. Jobs are being filled. Everything's great right now. This is amazing. So let's push out a bit further with our people. Try and get more use out of the service buildings we just put down. Yeah, not the end of the world if we're going to be a bit um, grid like through here. You know, I wasn't planning on connecting those two, but that actually might make sense, especially if we add the extra lanes. Make that a bit more bicycle friendly. And this is something, um, you might actually see this more in shopping malls, to be honest, versus anywhere else, but uh, what we can do is give priority for the inbound traffic. So like the ones leaving the busier street, and then everyone else has to be a stop sign. And then because we got the one way too, that's good for traffic. So coming in has priority. Going out does not. And then we'll bike lane to the roundabout. Unfortunately, there's no one-way roads with the bike lane, so if you did want a bike lane to carry through your roundabout, just a fun little tidbit here. Again, trial and error, so I'll get used to this um, process, but great when it works, though. So we'll just gently curve this in here. And the goal is to be like as close as possible, so we don't ha end up with any of those weird holes between the uh, the pathway and the roundabout. Sometimes you can get it in one go. See that little hole there? We're trying to avoid that. Was that one the worst? No, of course not. We don't really need to get rid of that. We could have kept it, right? But just to kind of show you what I meant. There. Still the hole came back. That's not so bad, right? And then now, I mean, there's not going to be any zoning anyway on the outside, right? So that's kind of a fun use of the outside of the roundabout. And then this way the bicycles can uh, carry on through. I believe they'd still use the sidewalk otherwise, but maybe just to help with our, our uh, people traffic, right? And let's go the whole way around. And it's more of that interconnected bike network vibe that we're going for here. And then the bike lanes, they're from After Dark, which is definitely the best DLC. There really is no wrong DLC you can get. They're all, all amazing. They all add just enough to the game that it's absolutely worth the price. And I said this before, like Colossal Order, whenever there's a free, or sorry, whenever there's a paid DLC, they do a free update as well. So the DLCs, like, they've just been phenomenal. You've benefited from them, whether you know it or not. The After Dark, definitely get them on sale. I mean, if you get them at full price, like, if you play enough hours, everything can be justified. 
I'm at four and a half thousand hours in the game. I was mentioned that before. Like, I'll pay any price at this point for a DLC. I just know they're worth it. I got that trust factor with the company too, which is good. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Like the Dutch approach. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go for like, I wanna say a suburb vibe in here that kind of like met the city. I want this to sort of be the tail end of the city here. And someone mentioned, I think it was actually Matt who mentioned it in the comments section, a great way to end off the city would be to have some farms. And if we buy this tile next, like that might just be the perfect move here, right? Um, we can do some farming, do some specialized industry, get some forestry, tie that in with a little bit of manufacturing down here. We can put the larger buildings on the cliff side. Like the industry's DLC buildings are gargantuan, like the actual manufacturing parts. The factories themselves, these are huge. So we can use that all in there, maybe down here as well. And then yeah, tie all that in and then have, which would be awesome in this part right here, have a um, the manufacturing trade school. Have this whole campus, all these pieces right here on the hillside. Oh, it'd be so great. All right, so uh, yeah, that could be the plan. I think so. So I'll probably end up using the European suburbia pack through here, and I'll do like a Europe style suburb where it's kind of like the longer, um, longer roads like this. How many units is that? 1680. Use that as a measurement often, guys, if you want to get the right spacing and stuff. And then you can go node to node. So the curving happened here. So that's basically where the node is. And then when we just curve these two together, that'll be the exact uh, same shape as this. So it's a parallel road. Uh, road maker but you're like doing it yourself you know so it's really handy and then we don't want to go the whole way just for the sake of traffic flow on this and we'll just like connect this together and that's gonna be how that one ends and this will just eyeball you know and this gives us uh you know some room for development in the future nice way to kind of end though He's just open-ended with the trains. We want to expand on this, because holy heck, this is such a silly junction. It looks kind of fun, uh, but like, you know, we've played enough uh, Skylines now that we know this isn't going to work. Fundamentally, what's happening is um, these areas here are not long enough for a whole train to queue. And so, like, imagine there's train traffic going over the bridge and continuously entering this way. And there's a train that wants to go this way, but is having to wait. So it's it's waiting. It's going to be blocking because it's too too long. It's going to be on that part of the track, and then anyone else coming to go straight is going to get stuck. So any train, you know, wanting to go that way is waiting. They're waiting with their butt hanging out. Everyone backs up. So these waiting zones have to be at least one train length in, in the, um, yeah, in length for safety. Maybe two. So how do you do that? You, you know, run the track maybe a little bit further down. So we'll figure this all out when we do our cargo stuff, but just, this will not work. And this will bottleneck, like, completely. So that is bad. Alright, so European suburbia this, and this will be great to get some buses through here. And I want just like a lot of mixed uh, types of neighborhoods, so when we do our transit, it just, it all that kind of makes sense. And I'll try and cover like as many bases as possible. And we actually have a couple people that um, are like transit managers, engineers, um, IRL. Uh, JBS, one of them, one of our subscribers. He actually makes YouTube content himself, you'll see him in the, the chat often. Um, yeah, he's volunteered to help uh, answer some questions. So feel free, you might see him respond to some. But he works in uh, New York City and does uh, transit stuff there. So he definitely is your uh, your go-to man. That's kind of cool. So we'll have a lot of just talk about everything. And it's fun to see, like, different perspectives as well, right? He also makes YouTube content, too. Fun little shout-out. All right, so that's European suburbia. Just because the demand favors it, let's do a couple high-density buildings here. Now I'll mention this again, um, I don't really use the high density uh, commercial, I'll use it downtown and in noisy spots, but man, is it ever noisy, so very, very rarely. Maybe for fun ski we can do one building. And also, in, in a perfect world, I wish there was a way to like, maybe make a district and then specialize it to be like a mall or something, and you can high density commercial that, have like malls just pop in, but sort of like let the game roll the dice on the modular size. That'd be kind of interesting, eh? So I'll use them eventually, and then we'll have like another little follow-up uh, mini episode series on um, you know high density, but like making that into your um, skyline for downtown. So very different than what we were doing before. Okay, 
Okay, there's a few buildings here. And even though I'm pretty sure the services are good, I'm just going to double check. And I have a sneaking suspicion that as time goes on, we might maybe make a pedestrian bridge over some of this, maybe even over the roundabout too. But I think that's great so far. And yeah, kind of keep in mind what I was saying before about RCI demand. When it drops off, raise the land value, and that'll start the whole process again. We're already calling for more people down here, which is great. And now we can start trying to reclaim this. So a few more office towers can go in now that we're educating our people. Actually, variety here, and then some more, uh, more shopping. There we go, going green. Slowly but surely. Okay, so let's run this on three speed. Again, we need to start accumulating money. I'm going to spend so much in our, uh, our trance. I'm just going to double check services really quickly here. Oh, we're already at that point again, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to put down the bigger one this time. Put that over here. Our shutters, the loudest. Our lenses, the longest. Cameras aren't paperweights. They're tools. Okay, just gonna switch up our radio. That should be more than enough. And I don't actually think we need any water just yet, so let's just do that one. That was kind of cool in the angle, too. All right, yeah, what I want to do, though, just to kind of um, quickly wrap things up, is just connect this side up. So we'll finish that off. See how traffic goes, and then uh, we'll maybe maybe have to do a little bit of traffic reconfiguring um, in and around here once we connect this. But I think we'll be okay. And that's probably gonna be how we're gonna wrap things up. Okay, so my demands dropped entirely off. Um, that's what my money in my mouth is. Let's increase the land value and stuff over here. Really, really, really quickly. And we're pushing it for time, but all right. So I want a, um, a playground. Playground might occupy just the end of the block here. And we might actually just be far enough away from a school that we could justify one. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. More of that neighborhood vibe. There's a school right there. Sorry, a little over the place. I think we just said highway stuff and here we are back in our residential neighborhood. But no, this is important, right? We want to keep this um, going here. All right, so that's good. Healthcare is decent, decent. Probably could use another building though. That local clinic kind of vibe. We want that, I think, in here. So let me put that right there, and that'll be next to just a little bit of shops. Cool. And I think we could probably use a high school then by that logic, right? No, okay, so this is what I was uh, maybe referring to before, right, about increasing the um, uh, range and whatnot. This could be for school buses. So that'll be something we'll talk about um, when we do our transit. Remember I was listing off the different types of vehicles and, like, bus types in the beginning? Okay, just uh, a little bit of a stopgap for the moment. Let's just put this in. This is going to look really awesome. Turn off that. There we go. And then just enough room to sneak in my favorite tree. Hello, my friend. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so a little bit of access. This can now kind of stretch the range of the high school to a certain extent, but we'll use buses as a better means of that. And what's cool too, the game has the ability to skin, um, reskin your buses. So we actually have like actual school buses do what we're trying to do right here. But that's for that's for later. Okay, um, let's let this do its own thing. It's going to sound a little bit more commercial, but hopefully that rise in land value will get the rest of this zoned as we head on over to our industrial part of the world. So this shouldn't be overly complicated. I do want the opportunity to zone a little bit more down here, so why don't we sneak over like this? And you know what actually we could do is why don't we use the bridge pillar as the um, as the brake? So the highway can uh, can switch here, and then that can be gently curved. And this way we can still get a little bit more snapping of some of the larger buildings in down here. We'll do kind of what we did up here, 
have a few side roads, maybe sneak off for some uh, turnarounds. Let's just, yeah, let's casually mix this together. Probably want to terraform, I think, just a little bit more of the uh, coastline here, too. And, you know, if we got time, we'll see how this how this goes. I might just also try to reconnect this up. I have a fun idea for that, too. Okay, so a gentle hill right here. Push a bit more of that back. Yeah, that should be it. It'll be nice once this pollution starts to go away, because then we can put a whole bunch of trees and stuff on the hill there. Alright, let's fix the directions uh, afterwards. Nice and gentle through here. Then, you know, just kind of the old casual connection. Yeah, it's very nice. Very gentle slope downhill. Let's try and go a bit straighter. Oh, I should probably go the whole way straight. And the goal, yeah, it's just to get like around the pillars and so that we, um, like that's not bad, but when there's the weird cut in, I don't like that. So we can probably go a little bit further, a little bit straighter, a little bit longer kind of thing first. And then curve in. Yeah, see that makes it look a lot better. Okay, so how do road directions work? We want this way, I believe. Left-hand drive city. We'll uh, we'll do a fun British city one day for uh, for YouTube. Okay, now let's uh, just do the old eyeball check here. Make sure this isn't a oh boy. That's why we check. Oh boy, indeed. Um, all right, no, the other side got a lot better. This could be an opportunity to have some fun here and do a slight um, yeah tunnel. Look at that, eh? There we go. Keeps it feeling unique and fresh as well. Okay, um, now that we see this, uh, the side of our bridge is a little bit tall. Let's try and fix that. So truth be told, I actually don't remember the spacing that we require for the, um, the bridge here. So we're gonna have to, I think, oh, beautiful, excellent baseball park. That's so nice downtown. This is the good stuff here. Bus Metro Hub, inner city bus terminal. That'll help so much. That was a great unlock just to casually get right now. I think we have a moment, so let's go um, okay, let's eyeball there. this. That looks a bit better. And then hopefully we get this on the first or second try. I should keep it on classical, it's not too bad. That may have been the spacing. I think this side might be a little bit longer, but I'm not unhappy with it. And then all we have to do now is just get rid of this, relocate these guys, which we were going to do anyway. Just put that there for the moment, please. And then, uh, this is just temporary, but like, just to make sure that we get um, multi-side usage here. Just give them the extra, extra access. Power lines. Okay, now the reason why we just did this is this is going to have too many intersections otherwise. And we have to keep our arterial road flow kind of mentality going here. So we need to support the extra traffic with the extra lanes. And this can be an oversized building, it can be something, it can be a big plaza, you know, transit building, who knows, right? And with the mentality of trying to get rid of some of the industry, let's unzone a little bit of that. Same with this here. And if power can... Yeah, we can get rid of this. And I'll throw down a solar updraft, which looks phenomenal as well down in these areas here. It has a really great industrial vibe to it. Oh, here I'm trying to sing its praise. doesn't want to go anywhere. All right, well, you know, maybe some terraforming later on. Just put this here for the moment. That could be kind of cool on the coast. Solar updraft, kind of a cool thing. Um, you're using solar power to heat um, water. And then the steam as it goes through the turbine, or the, the, the pipe here spins turbines. So it's kind of cool. New age. Alright, so let's connect this in. 
And then this part, I don't really remember how long these are, so we're gonna have to kind of ballpark. But I think we can do a pretty good job. Um, that's the height. Put the guidelines in. Like, you know, how far would we be, eh? Like, hmm. That's the spacing. I want to say about there. Right, and this is our... Oh, no, it has to be closer, otherwise that won't connect, so never mind. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Doesn't have to be an exact science. I will forgive this one, you know? Alright, so what do we do? We went from there to there. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it just would have been too many intersections otherwise, having this come in, right? And this is called a single point urban interchange. And they're pretty cool. Kind of a fun high speed alternative to a diamond. Alright, so this, how long do you need to be? It's gotta be before the tunnel, that's key. And we'll do one way, or one single lane going like that. It's not too bad, the steepness. When you change the road types, you get a little bit bizarro. I'm actually gonna keep it. I will keep it. And then this, can you just pop into that? I think so. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, how about that? All right. Now, I think we got time to do a quick little connection over here. Right? Yeah, we do. So why don't we sneak in past, yeah. And why don't we go underneath, just for the sake of traffic, right? Let's not have these guys compete for the same space here. Let's go underneath it. So if you exit, you're not even gonna bother getting in the way of people going on like that. And then this can just be like a simple of that, you know, we'll just back this up. And as long as we present at least one more option, so it's not like the point of no return back here. So you're not like forced to have to go to the highway. We can do that and we can even do like a one way that just leaves. So if you're like, let me off, bro. Uh, it might be a little bit too steep though. All right, well, maybe we force you onto the highway. Just get off on the next. Oh, but then ho, 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 you can't get off. Okay, okay. I'm talking myself into it, but you actually do need that connection. Yeah, that's your way. And then we won't zone past this. So if you're coming down to a shop or something, I don't want you to have to like take the highway all the way like, you know, to here just to get back home, right? That makes no sense. So the other way we could have done that, of course, is have this also connect, you know, some fun, fun way. You basically take the next exit, but that might be a little bit challenging. That might be something we try on another day, right? And we just do like the lane mathematics here, you know? Bada bing, bada boom. That's probably smarter anyway. So I'm gonna do it. Same with on this side. I think it's kind of fun to like to build something first and then improve on it once you kind of see like where it needs the help. All right, so how do we get this over here? We probably put a bridge, right? That'll be awesome on the coastal, coastal vibes here. Okay, so let's go node, um, not node to node, but like pillar to pillar. So the maximum length of the pillar, and then we'll adjust our ups and downs with our page up. And that is that, okay. And the dream world, it fits, look at that. Like Cinderella and the shoe fit. That is awesome. Look at the overlapping infrastructure here. Like that's how we do it, eh? And then I don't know. Maybe keeping this uh, the, the traffic segregated is smart, so you don't have to kind of flood this uh, exit, you know? All right, well, let's three speed. Let's take a look at the whole operation here. This is incredible. Look at look at the transformation, guys. So theoretically, traffic will start taking this theoretically, especially if we're bringing some commercial stuff through. And we have the warehouse down here working. Yeah, this is grandiose. Roundabout was a great choice. Extra lanes here, helping a lot. This could be maybe re rethought. Maybe that can be brought further up, but I'm very happy. And uh, look at that. Sure enough, starting to fill in on its own. Perfect. And it's kind of fun. We've got the suburbia vibes over here. Bigger homes. Maybe like a two-car garage even. Homes are a little bit different, a little bit less expensive, perhaps, on the outskirts. But yeah, I think we'll uh, I think we'll end things here, guys. Another long, great episode. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready for some transit. 
I think next episode will be our uh, segue into buses. And we'll talk a little bit about how we can extend the school, um, the range of the schools with some uh, school buses, how we get people to and from work with uh, with buses, and then we'll move that into like heavier forms of public transit. You know, this kind of stuff, right? Like, why, why is the traffic happening like that, right? How can we use uh, public transit to alleviate that, you know? All right, well, that's it. I will leave you guys there. Thank you very much, as always, for your support. Hopefully, we'll see some more people using this. Kind of. We're getting there. Kind of. But man, this is great. Like, what a fun piece of infrastructure. A little bit of that blue underneath. We can try and fix that later. See, that kind of comes in and out. We'll figure that out later. All right, guys, drop me a comment. Let me know how your cities are going. Let me know what you think of all of this. Man, oh man, what a transformation. All right, guys, looking forward to uh, chatting with you. We'll see you again. And uh, buckle up for transit. All right, adios. All the best, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.